Hey everybody, my name is Aiden Corral and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own homemade Rice Krispie Treats. For the ingredients you will need for this are your Rice Krispie cereal, your butter, and your Jet Puff marshmallows. I prefer the mini ones and I'll tell you that when we start to get cooking. But before that, we're going to want to wash our hands. We're going to put some water, get a decent amount of soap, scrub a dub dub, make sure it looks nice and soapy like this. Go ahead and wash that off. Turn your water off, flick all that off, and then wipe, wipe your hands with the towel. Now, you're going to want to take your pot, place it on the stove, and go ahead and put it that at low heat. Now, go ahead and grab your butter. I like to use this kind of butter because it already has a pre-measurement of three tablespoons, and that's how much you're going to want to get. Now go ahead and put your three tablespoons of butter into the pan. Now you're going to want to get your four cups of Jet Puff marshmallows. Now my measuring cup only goes up to two cups, so I'm going to need two of these to meet the requirement. Throw that inside. Let's get another one of those. Now this is where you're going to want to take your spatula and go ahead and mix all this around. Melt your butter. Make sure all of this melts. After you guys have been mixing your marshmallows and butter for a solid while, it should look like this. Now this is the step where you're going to want to get your Rice Krispie Treats. You're going to want to get six cups. Now again, since I only have two cups in my measuring cup, I'm going to need to put three of these inside my inside my pan. That's two. Inside. Two cups. And one last one. Now you're going to want to mix this until all the Rice Krispie treats have been coated with your marshmallows and butter. After you guys have mixed your Rice Krispies with your marshmallows and butter, it should look like this. All the Rice Krispies should have a nice coating of your butter and marshmallows. Now, you're gonna turn this off. Bring your tray next to your pan you're gonna want to take your butter or butter stick and just rub it over the over the top of the pan so the rice crispy trees don't get stuck on it Put a decent amount of it on there. Now, go ahead and 
take your Rice Krispie treats and just dump it onto here. Make sure to spread it around nice and even. And go ahead and pat this down. Once you're done patting it down to its even size, it should look like this. Now, since it's very hot, you're going to want to leave it for 20 to 30 minutes. And then once it's done cooling, you can go ahead and cut it to the size you want. And that's it. You can enjoy your Rice Krispie Treats. Thank you for watching my video.